We are joined by the great Jim Wyatt. Jim, we're talking all things offense today, and so I have to start with the quarterback and the running back, the two most prominent guys on that side of the ball. In your analysis, what did you see out of Ryan Tannehill and Derrick Henry? Well, I think Ryan Tannehill has looked poised. He's looked, he's looked in command. You know, he, we all remember la this time last season, he was deferring to Marcus Mariota as the backup quarterback, just waiting his turn. He got an opportunity, and he hit the ground running. And I think having another year in the system with Arthur Smith, I think he's looked really good. He's been accurate in practices. I think Derrick Henry has always been on the go. I mean, I think running the football, he's been very effective. He came in camp in great shape. When there's a break in the action, he hits the sand pit, you know, hits the bike. He's always doing something. You can tell both those guys ready to start the season. Do you feel like A.J. Brown has picked up where he left off his rookie season in 2019? I do. I mean, I look at him and he, he just doesn't look like a guy who is going to the second season. He's got such a professional approach to him, just his work ethic the way he attacks the football in practices. I think one thing that's stood out to me is he just hasn't had an easy camp because I think the defensive backs have really risen to the occasion as far as being physical with him, getting up in his face, challenging him on a lot of plays in practices. He's won that battle some days, and some days those guys have knocked balls away, but I like that because I think that's something that's going to really prepare him for the season. Adam Humphreys is a guy who missed the last couple of months of 2019. He's back now in 2020. Do you feel like he's picking up kind of where he left off? Yeah, I mean, last season he, he limped to the finish, you know, uh, unfortunately because of the ankle injury that he suffered late in the season. I think he gutted it out to be able to play in the season finale. Talking to him this offseason, just having a year with Ryan Tannehill, kind of knowing what to expect, having a better field of offense. I have to say last year I noticed him in camp more than I have this season. But that's not necessarily a bad thing. I just think this team has so many more options on the offensive side of the ball that he doesn't necessarily have to be the focal point in a lot of practices. Jim Wyatt, you've been here for a while. Do you think that this could be one of the most effective Titans offenses in over a decade? Well, it's a tough act to follow. I think there's every reason to believe it can be, but I look at what it did last year. I mean, first in, in the league in red zone efficiency at 75.6, third in the league in rushing yards, 138.9 a game, fourth in yards per play, 6.2, tenth in points per game, averaging 25.1 a game. Tannehill was number one in pass rating. Derrick Henry leads the league in rushing. A.J. Brown, a 1,000-yard receiver. So you're picking up from, from that success. But the good news is these guys are back, and I think there's a comfort level there. These guys have played alongside one another. They've got the same offensive coordinator. So heading into the season, I think there's reason to be very optimistic about things moving forward. All right, so let's maybe not shoot for all of those number one <laughs> numbers, but let's shoot for top five. What are some of the keys for the Titans offense to be one of those top five offenses in the league? Well, I think red zone efficiency is always going to be, you know, at the top of that list or near the top because number one, obviously, is, is good health. I mean, you've got to keep Tannehill healthy. You've got to keep, you know, Derrick Henry healthy and have them play, you know, a 16-game season and then going into postseason. But you've got to be able to score when you get close to the end zone. That's what this team did so well last season so you need to continue to do that get your playmakers involved spread the football around you know the only real question mark going to the season is is just how things are going to shake out at right tackle I think I think we have a feeling that it's going to end up being Dennis Kelly's spot so just that offensive line being able to to be you know cohesive and operating you know without any hiccups is a key as well.